All right, welcome to episode one, My Road, a Minnesota chat. Uh, this is exciting. I've been wanting to do this for a while and uh, got the summer off and uh, lucky. Let's roll. Uh, going through some uh, issues, not issues, but how I was going to do this video, audio. I listen to audio podcasts, but they're uh, at our heart. So we're going to do this video. My first guest was easy pick friends for going on a half a century mike mara mike welcome nick thanks for having me <laughs> i'm stoked to, for future episodes of this podcast i know this is gonna be cool yeah so we're just gonna go it's gonna be like conversations we're gonna laugh a little bit different we'll get people on i want to get some musicians on here friends uh you know heroes of mine sometimes we'll see We'll just see how it rolls. But so, Mike, uh, well, we go back to junior high. Probably seventh grade. Yeah, I think so. Running around, uh, we spent a lot of time on that Gustavus campus. Our playground. Yes. And they had really old security guards. <laughs> and that's how I learned how to spell Cushman from the yeah. back. They did chase us. In that cart because they were too old to run. It was like a milk cart. And I don't think they ever left the uh, sidewalk. No, so it so was easy. To get easy as so easy. Behind a tree. <laughs> but we were also chased by students. and uh, That was a little tougher. You yeah. had to know we had, all the nooks and crannies. We had hideouts. We did. So, yeah, though, so that's kind of, kind of where I met Otis, too. But you met him before I did. Tell me about uh, Otis. Well, I think it was late 73 or early 74 on the basketball court in Alumni Hall. Okay. Now, you know, that's memories are recollections, Nick. Yep, I know. And nobody has total recall. No, no, that's a good thing. So everybody's version is different. I'm sure Otis's is different. But are you telling me you beat him? <laughs> <laughs> I think I was just shooting my maybe my ball rolled over to where they were playing. Oh, yeah. I think they were in a pickup game. And uh Al Al Sawyer, he could shoot. Yeah. Well, then there was TC and Selman and Smitty and Yeah, he kind of became a part of your guys' family, didn't he? Yep, he kind of a, a not official adopted sibling. Yep. To this day, I saw to this day, I, that, I just saw him not too long ago. We feel yeah. well, he just came down and visited mom. Yep, that's right. That's right. And you went down to visit his family one time, didn't you? One time, went to the Delta Blues Fest in Greenville, Mississippi. It was awesome. A little different setup down there. Oh yeah, different, uh, different blues fest than our blues fest. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Yeah, uh, and I, uh, tell me about the moonshine you bought. I didn't buy any. Oh. I drank some. Oh. First time was in a parking lot. A guy handed me a gas can, and <laughs> I, was a little, I was a little reluctant, but I said, after you. Yeah. And there was a circle of us. Oh, So, yeah, I, yeah, I couldn't wimp out. I had to no. take a good pull. Yes. It was pretty smooth until the. Settling, yeah, and there was some burn that stuff, yeah, that burns a little bit. And then people brought it to the festival, too. Oh, sure, yeah, we might do that here. <laughs> well, that's cool. Would you guys drive on there? We flew to Memphis, and that was the first and only time I've ever rented a car, really. Yeah, why? Usually, when I go on vacation, we Pick a central location for a hotel or wherever we're staying. And then we public transportation it or walk everywhere. Huh. You know, I said why, but I don't think I ever have. <laughs> I don't think I've ever know, car. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, it's not, yeah. not cheap. No. No, 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 no. But, you know, people do it. They get around or whatever. We drove it to Graceland. Really? Yeah. So that was cool. Yeah. Sun Studios and BB. That would Games. be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be cool. Now, Gustavus. Speaking mm -hmm. of that, yeah, let's get back to that. Uh, Fieldhouse. That's another thing. That Classic. Day. Oh man, we spent some nights in there, just roaming and 
I don't think there was ever even like a caretaker. Was it ever locked? No, no. And we went there late. It was a Quonset hut. I mean, literally. Yes. I actually looked up. Uh, it's hard to find, but an old picture of it. Oh, wow. And it's like, I think I like had to go through the historical society or something like that. But and it was like, oh, yeah, a big, ugly wire tower next to it. It was pretty cool, though. But it had that raised floor. The raised basketball court like Williams Arena. Yes. Whitey Skoog. That's right. Inventor of the what you jump shot. The jump shot. That's right. He used to come out to Harvard for coffee. Yeah. Him and Mr. Harvey and every morning. Oh, classic. Two classic. And Bill uh, Graham. And, yep. and uh, Mr. Harvey was still Mr. Harvey. Yeah. He just... And you just call him Mr. Harvey. Oh, I you know, know, 50 years old. If you didn't, he might take the short hairs behind your neck. Get the gone. Yeah. Make you recite some poetry. Or but something. you know, the funny part about that is even when, I mean, I remember there was a blizzard one time and them guys all came that showed up. Like they were, oh, I think nice. They, yes, it was just cool. And they lived like like Washington. They had Somebody had to pick everybody up. Then they'd shake dice for the tab, which is like... Well, I I missed about that. <laughs> well, a lot of the old teachers still do that down at Nicollet Cafe. Yeah. Well, and then they keep a tally, and then at the end of the year, someone gets the Juan Valdez. I trophy. read that. It's not right. Valdez. Is it Valdez? Yeah. Okay. The Folgers guy. Okay, I was thinking that Valdez. He's got, he's got a burrow. Who was the guy that crashed the oil tanker? That's the SS uh, Valdez. Okay. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. Juan Valdez. Juan Valdez. Oh, the Valdez. Valdez was that. That's where the Don Dish soap was. Also yeah. yeah. <laughs> but so, yeah. We can't up. remember everything. But so that was, we, and then we uh, we got the free pop. We figured out. The, Orange crush only. Yeah. You stick your hand up there, and there was a lever. I wonder if they had a problem. It was a little trip lever. Yeah. You had to have a skinny arm. And pull that baby out right away. And it was ching, ching. Yep. Orange crush. They never caught on to it, but we didn't abuse it. Like, we didn't take a case at a time. No, no. We wanted a can of pop. We yep. had a can of pop. Yep. So that was pretty cool. I saw uh, Michael Johnson there twice. I had to be younger than 16 because I think they took a date both times and we walked. Yep. But at the field house, that was, uh, I think, you know, at that time I didn't care about sound, but couldn't have been the best. I walked up there when Jerry Jeff Walker played. I don't think I could have been 12 years old. And it, I didn't have a ticket, and it was sold out, but they had the side door where they brought the gear in. was kind of cracked open a little bit. There was a guy there for security. Yeah. I caught a couple glimpses of Jerry Jeff. I think he was pretty drunk when he was playing. Huh? I've heard a story. That at that show, he put a bottle of whiskey on the stage and said, the show's over when that bottle's gone. Bless his heart. I don't know. Well, he's known for falling off the stage. Yeah, he's, we saw him up at uh, Medina Ballroom a couple times. The thing I remember about that night was there was like four inches of rain, and the streets were like rivers. Really? It was crazy. Huh. That's when it was time to head home. Didn't we also... Was there a Highland Arena up there too for the basketball court? Like we saw Daisy Dillman up there. Yeah. Molly Hatchet? Or was that in Mankato? That was in Mankato. I thought Highland so. Arena. That's right. Yeah. And that was the, uh, well, I think it was the Flaming O's, but didn't they build it as the Flamingos? I think so. <laughs> they used to play Gustavus. I yeah. I think pretty often. We saw, we saw Daisy Dillman, I think, at uh, the Alumni Hall. It was. Yes, because it was kind of by the, above the pool. Yeah. Yeah. They were like pre-Americana. Oh, that was, yeah. That I was, mean, it was, yeah. They, they kind of came off of that Graham Parsons thing. Well, it was almost kind of nitty-gritty dirt bandish kind of. Kind of, yeah. You know, folky. And, yeah. Who were up there also. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not down Denver. I don't know. No, you know, I don't know what they do for shows anymore. I don't either. I suppose a lot of uh, the orchestra stuff, you know, they have that. I did see Wynton Marcellus up there in the really? in the theater, which was a coup because he was already huge multi-Grammy winner. Was somebody he, must have known something. Was he the Tonight Show guy? 
No, but I saw that show too, Doc Severinsen. No, no, no. I mean, went in Marcellus. No, no. Yeah, he was the band. Or was that Branford? That was Branford. Oh, his brother. Yep. Oh. Huh. Well, that, so, concerts. Now, we've been to concerts. You and I have been to some concerts. I'm probably in the four figures. Yeah. We were talking about this not too long ago. Just live music in general. I still can't remember if my first one was, uh, it was either ELO or Kansas, and I I, I don't remember. It's because they were close together. I, mean, but I think we were 13 years old. I didn't have tickets for like 18 bucks or something like that. What was your first like arena show? That. Oh, okay. And they were at, that was the uh, uh, St. Paul Civic Center where the XL was. Nice. I think mine was Aerosmith. Second album. Oh, what year was that? Seventy uh, six ish. I don't know. We were very young, yeah. Very loud. Parents just always let us go to concerts. I know it was crazy. Well, should we get into the story? Talking about concerts. <laughs> this yeah. is this is a pretty famous story, and I know a lot of people have heard it a thousand times. Yeah, they're probably times, sick of it, but other people aren't. <laughs> so we had this plan. We were going to go to the Who concert. It was their farewell tour in 1979. Still going. <laughs> and uh, and this was shortly after that trampling in, in Detroit, remember? Yeah. And then they, they, we wanted, like, general admission, but then didn't they have, like, after that, no more general admission? Yeah, for a while. So the four of us, you, me, Ponson, and to not be named, was the driver. Because I don't think we could drive that, right? Well, it wasn't Paul also with? Wasn't there five of us? I don't think he was with us, was he? Oh, was he? I don't know. No, because there's just three of us. Oh, I'm thinking of Spooner. Yeah, yeah we're thinking there's three of us in the back seat. So uh, we get to going, and uh, and the car breaks down in Bell Plain. Yeah, we didn't get very far. Our friend actually wasn't supposed to drive that car. That's why we're not, uh, yeah. His parents said no, but we bought him a ticket, kind of a bribe thing. Yeah. Because yeah. he wasn't really tight in our group. No, but he had a car. He had a car. Yeah. <laughs> Very important. So there we are with a big old hole in the radiator. Went and got some stop leak. That didn't help. No. no it was hot. But we had a cooler. Did we have a cooler or did we just have a box of returnables? Might have been that. Yeah, it could be. But we were going to the concert. We were going to the concert, so we decided, now we don't recommend this. But it was, it was 1979. Oh, come to thumbs. We're yeah. going to hitchhike. And we did. And uh, we got a ride. A Gustavus student, Gustav no less. A very pleasant one. Yep. Yep. And uh, Accommodating, too. Very much. We won't go into that either. No. But he... Uh, <laughs> He uh, he was he was uh, he understood our predicament, but he could only bring us to Bloomington. We had to get to the St. Paul Civic Center, and you know what? And we I don't and think we're, we're, what, we're what fifteen? Uh, not even. I'm fifteen. I think you were sixteen. I don't even know if you're that old. Were we? Well, there was a couple driver's license and a couple that didn't have. That could be. That could be. Now th this is. Of course, we didn't think of this. All right, Bloomington. Back of a gas standard station. Yep. And then Payphone. And I think it's, it was then we realized, oh, crap. We're in a world of hurt here. We don't know anybody. Well, we knew Otis. He had graduated. Yep. He had, uh, he had his first job as a probation officer. <laughs> yes. And we're sticking dimes or quarters or whatever it was into the payphone. Yep. Trying to call Otis to no avail for quite a while. Yes. We had to get extra ice, remember? There we sat, yeah. In a parking lot. But we had a Frisbee, yeah. Like, well, I thought we where did that Frisbee come Well, from? I think we planned on playing Frisbee at the concert. Okay. There at the parking lot. Yeah. So we were back there with the cars, that, the broke down yep. cars and the tires. You mean Ponce. Yep. Throwing Frisbee. The guy never, he never did he bother us? So, no, nobody, just a couple kids. Yeah, I don't think they have bigger fish to fry. I think there. so. But we finally got a hold of Otis. Finally, I think we got a hold of Lucy. 
And then yeah. Lucy got a hold of it. She probably wasn't happy. I don't think she was. I wouldn't have been. But he came and got us, dropped us off. Said We said, meet, meet us at Mickey's Diner. Mickey's Diner, the old train. At, yep. I don't know. We didn't. There was no phones. Did we just give them a time? We might have. I think we waited there a little while. Yeah. Unless, yeah. Yeah. yeah we... <laughs> hey, when the Who is in town or in the state. You know, do you remember who the backup band was? Blackfoot. Blackfoot. Yeah. yeah. What was that one hit they had? Train, train. <laughs> and then a the highway yeah. song. Oh, yeah. I guess they had two. But they were heavy guitar. Like, yeah. They had, that, they had that double guitar thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the single guitar thing. Yeah. But so uh, we go there and uh, we stayed over at her notices. He was having a party, actually. And uh, yeah, he had to take care of a bunch of 15 year olds. Yes, I know. <laughs> but we fit in. And we had to get Ponce back to his brother's wedding by like, yes. noon the next day. That's right. Yes, so we had a we had time limit. So, and I think Otis and Al. What is it, like a yellow Cadillac or something? I don't remember. Three of us in the, in the back seat. The, we won't go into the incident. No. But, uh, <laughs> I, I, I finally fessed up. It was like only 10 years ago. When it, we actually thought it was a B for. Oh, I did too. And then I'm like, oh, yeah. That was, yeah. Until, yeah. Yeah. And then Until we pulled over. He was at one of your parties, I think, with Al, like 10 years ago. And then I go, yeah. <laughs> Really? A statute of limitations, oh, I know. I Fun times, cool. though. Absolutely. Yeah, we got the journey all over the Well, place. you and I went to, we went through that Hank Jr. kit for a while, too. Oh, yeah. We saw him a couple times. Oh, yeah. Didn't we take a boat to Harriet Island? We did for Bob Dylan Bob and Dylan Steve, Steve Earl. Earl. the same show. Yes. But we missed Steve Earl because... We didn't have the proper life jackets. We got pulled over by the river the patrol. River. Yes. Well, I think we had life jackets, but they were kids. So they claim. That's true. I don't know. Who knows? I, but, think, I think they passed. Those were those orange ones. Yeah. But the guy made us buy life jackets from his buddy down the river. Yeah, that's right. That was kind of a wreck. And he still gave the driver a ticket. But we saw, yeah. We listened to we Steve listened Earl. to Steve Earl while we're dealing boat. with this uh, yeah. river deputy. And then we saw. I think you and I went to Joe Walsh, didn't we? That was at the old Bet Center, wasn't that you and I? I didn't see Joe Walsh. Oh, maybe that, that I recall. Well, that was cool. Well, Bet Center was great. Because oh yeah 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 the parking lot they don't do that anymore. No, if you look at you'll see like aerial shots of it was just like land. Of just parking the lot. Mall of America. One way is yeah. enough to hold the Mall of America. Oh, Dad used to bring us up there for Twins games on that day a lot, and it was just the coolest. The spiral getting up to the seats, you know, it was pretty neat. Yeah, my dad brought me to a couple of Vikings games at Met Stadium. Really? I was at that game where Tommy Kramer came in because I think Bob Lee got injured. Really? And Bob Lee had replaced Tarkington. But Kramer comes in, throws like three touchdowns yeah. in the fourth quarter. Two San Francisco, down. I believe. I was at that game. Really? Yes. Yeah, so I was. Uh, a little bit of snow. It was awesome. I ran into him a couple times in Mankato after hours. He was, oh, yeah. He was. Well, uh, there was, recently he was somewhere. He, he, the Madison Vikings Lake draft. Yeah. Somewhere. He was like a draft party. I think they pay him. And then, oh, yeah. Well, he did. Yeah. Is he, is he like still. A, Oh, I think he already spoke that. I think Ken Stabler was the only one that uh, had yeah. more on his breath than in the Ken tunnel. Ken Stabler. Yes, uh, Oakland Raiders. Yep. Well, that was cool. Coffee, by the way. I got water. You know, Nick, this is a Scottish coffee. I, I, I made it up. You know what it is? Um, scotch and coffee? Nope. Close. Maybe I should have called it an English coffee. It's an Irish coffee. With no coffee. I like that. I like that. <clears throat> we had some of that last night too, didn't we? We did, but it wasn't in a coffee cup. No, no, no. no. Yeah, it was a special batch. <laughs> that was the uh, was it the Irish batch or the uh, the 
champs. <clears throat> the Zamboni Rye. See, how about our little country kick after you got out of the Marines? We did. We we went, yeah. But it was old country. It was old school. We got a little Conway Twitty and some, But there was some there was new country then too, like uh, that was like Randy Travis and Oh yeah, George Strait, but kind of still Dwight Yoakam. Yeah, uh, I always liked him. A little Bakersfield swing, but we uh we had. I'm trying to remember if yeah, that was right about that time too. We went over to the Cal. Is it the Caledonia? It was then in Madison East. Yeah. Yep. What's it called now? Hooligans. Hooligans. Yeah. Cal. Oh, back then, the Caledonia and the Best Western had music like six, seven nights a week. Yeah. I know. Well. And a lot of the other places had music like two, three nights a week. Well, like uh, like the Hurdy Gurdy and all them. Right. That was back at Square Bodega. Deal. Yeah. Square Deal with the Blues. That's right. I uh, Where did I see? I think Bobby Joe's used to have this great picture of looking down front street before the mall right there. it had like salads and the bodega and yeah it's just like ice cream shops it it, it and then it turned and the bridge was moved over a little bit right it's a new bridge but it's like man we used to just yeah we'd spend the whole day over there i remember when they had kind of a punk club in north mankato in the bay below Basement of the American Legion? Or something? Yes. No, no. Across the street. Oh, okay. It was Kitty Corner from Bobby Joe's, and that was uh, like the really weird. Dog. It was, yeah. It was uh, lots of black. Lots yes. Of hoops. And lots yeah, it was of, dark. Lots and of the walls. It smelled like a basement. I mean, I liked the punk music, but I wasn't really into the whole. No, that was a different, like a uh, goth yeah. vibe kind of. Right. Yeah. Everybody Which was, was fine. Yeah. But they always seem to upset. You no, know? no, I know they weren't happy. No, but that had to be. I was I in the service then, or was it after that? Because that would have been our eighties, early eighties. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I wonder what that was called. I don't remember. Maybe. Well, speaking of bars, uh, you get thirsty, like I get thirsty. I do, but I don't really go to the bars anymore. I don't much either. But my go-to is. Flame Bar, downtown oh, yes, St. Peter. Yes, yes, uh, sure. Talk about a hometown vibe. Now, they got uh, 11 taps. Uh, patios opened up. Beautiful time of yeah. year. Chris and Mike have owned that for since 1992. What's that, 31? 31. Years? Last year, I think they had their 30th anniversary. Uh, That's right. Celebration. I went down there for that. That's right. And then. Uh, the, I right. like when they do the live music on happy hour on Friday. Yes, I think that's just in the spring, though. But they might get stuff going in the summertime, too. Uh, they put in that kitchen, great food. Oh, their burgers are great. Burger specials every day or lunch specials every day. They got the homemade pizzas. Um, that's uh, It's my go-to in town if I'm going out. Uh, Mark Silveride right down there and back. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the Flame Bar. The electric bike. Yeah. Well, I put that in the back, yeah. But Flame Bar, uh, I go there, go there. It's like a place where everybody knows your name. Check it out, downtown St. Peter. It's one of them old, long, narrow. Yeah. How bars all used the to old be. school kind. Yeah. yeah. All right, we got the uh, we got a music festival coming up, Mike. Blues Fest downtown. Blues Fest, Ambassadors Blues Fest. You're the guy I go to now if I want to. What do they got for a lineup this year? Uh, Billy and the Bangers, I think, is first. They're up Mankato. No, no, no. It's up kid from St. Peter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter, that Peterson. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know anything about it. I don't either. It. I have to check it out. Uh, Mississippi Heat. Yes. They used to be great back in the day. Like, I saw them quite a few times in the early 90s, but I'm hoping it's original members. I have no clue. Huh. From Mississippi? No. Oh. Uh, Chicago slash Milwaukee. Really? Yeah. Huh. That's where they were from. I'm not up on them now. And is that, this, that's the headliner? That's the headliner. And what time does that start? 8 o'clock? I have no clue. Hey, I like that new setup they got down there. Food I truck do. aisle. That it was kind that of a vendor, that food truck uh, mall, I guess yeah. you would call it. Concrete slab. Yeah. Perfect. 
That needed to be done. It needed to be At done. At first, I thought... Especially as much as Rock Bend has grown. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Just you get muddy and it's a different range. You're kind of screwed. And this is perfect. I got a little... And, it, yeah, it's a and you don't have to worry about tripping over electrical cords. Miles of electrical cords. <laughs> Miles. And then I still have the vendors, like the selling their goods and wares and stuff. Yeah. So that's Saturday. So you heading down? I am. What time are you going down there? It depends on when I get my chores done. Gotcha. Yeah, I got to work down there. I'll, probably, I'll get hold of you for that. Um, and then we got is it, the rock band is in the fall. What they got? Anything they have you? a new one. Uh, That's right. I was going to ask you about that. Original Minnesota Music Festival. Really? Festival. So is that what it said? Yeah, it's all Minnesota musicians who most of them do original music. Really? One day? I think it's two days in the park, but it's a week-long thing in the town because it's almost like a music conference. Huh. Oh. They, they have breakout sessions, and they have, like, sure, draw names out of a hat and make pickup bands and have a contest. And Huh. Last year was the first year, and they're having a second year, so. Free? Yeah, I think it's all free. Yeah. St. Peter's got that going on. You know, not too many towns does that. Show up with a cooler, lawn chair. Oh, I know. That's seriously dope. You're paying any other festivals like that. You're right. That's, that's why you have to donate. I went by, uh, I went down there yesterday to the food truck. I had a burger and fries. Yeah, I hear every Wednesday. For every lunch. Wednesday, there's a new one. A different one, I mean. Yep. Uh, through August. Sweet. 11 to 2, but these guys stayed there till. Too bad I don't work in town. Well, they stayed till 7. So I guess it's an option for them. Okay. But yeah, this place had. Sometimes I get anxiety about a food truck menu because, <laughs> you know, it can, it can brand them. Well, and plus there's like pressure. They're looking at you through the window. I know. And you just walked up. You're trying to go off to the side a little bit. Right. So, yeah. You're, you're trying to like stand yeah. back, but then you can't read it. Yeah. Well, just like going into Taco John. I, know. I don't want to do this for like just yeah. let me go here. But burger and fries, that's all they had. You had different toppings and then uh, cheese was thirteen bucks for burger and fries. And it was a it was good. It was well worth thirteen bucks. Hand cut fries. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then you, you can tell. see like the skin on the end. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. And they uh they, they advertise as they get their beef every morning from local Really? Culture. Yes. And it was you could tell. Oh, wow. And it took, they made it right there. It took, nice. like and they, they give you a little buzzer so you can walk around. And then it goes off like at BW3, hey, and then you go pick it up. Was there that many people there that buzzers were needed? Uh, there were eating. I was the only one in line, and two people came while I was waiting. But I suppose it's just a formality. I don't know. But you, you think you could go over to the swing set with the buzzer buzz that far away? I should have tried. I should have gotten the bike. <laughs> or the merry-go-round. Yeah, we used to do it, yeah. Oh, yeah. remember, jeez, <laughs> remember that merry-go-round? <laughs> yeah. Uh, After a all-day game of risk in the park, beat you twice, beat yeah. you twice, <laughs> Alex. <laughs> then go get dizzy on the merry-go-round. Yes, because that's what you did. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. All right. They still have those concrete tennis courts. Oh, I know. Uh, the worst thing for your knees. They're looking at uh, redoing that because I think. Like they did the pickleball pickle ball, things. and now it's going to be. That place has 30 people every time I go yeah, out there. They need another. It's, we went to the pickle barn for a field trip to second graders. Where's that? It's at? in, it's like, you know, Menards. You take it right. Oh, yeah, 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 to yeah, the left. yeah, yeah. Big, huge, like a, it's cool. Air conditioned. They got a bar up on top. Wow, really? Yeah. It's a little lounge for like members. Wow. I, they weren't open that day at all. <laughs> Well, plus, you were on a field trip. Yeah. Yeah. You can't be doing that. No. Well, Mike, we're going to stretch this out. Let's lock her down. That was okay. a good check. It's been about 20, half an hour, right? 20 minutes. Did we miss anything? What else did you want to talk about? Anything? We've missed a lot, Nick, but we don't have time. Right. Maybe once a year I'll come on this show. Perfect. Perfect. We'll get a call. I figured out how to get a call in, but uh, our call in guest was uh, busy tonight. So. We had one lined up. We had one we lined, up. lined up. I had it all out of figured California. out. California. Yep. 
but other things came up and we'll get them on the next show. Yep. All right. Thank you guys for listening. Episode one, um, exclusively on my YouTube channel, My Road, a Minnesota Chat. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Now let's celebrate.